Speis und Trank und ein zünftiges Gewand mit Bonus Wiesenbäuerisch. Good food and drink are essential to the success of the Oktoberfest and in recent years beer consumption exceeded 7 million liters for the duration of the Wiesen. That's a lot of beer, so let's take a look at the Oktoberfest bestsellers. Märzen has its origins in Bavaria, dating back to before the 16th century. Märzen was traditionally brewed in March, hence the name, with more hops, malt and a slightly higher alcohol content, allowing the beer to last while the brewing of new beer was forbidden from April 2nd to September 28th. The original Märzen was a dark brown, full-bodied and bitter beer. It was often kept in the cellar until late in the summer and bottles were served at the Oktoberfest. Common names for Märzen in Germany are Märzenbier, Festbier and Oktoberfestbier. Nowadays it's a rarity and it's only brewed for Oktoberfest season. Weißbier is a top fermented beer which is brewed with a large proportion of wheat relative to the amount of malted barley. The two main types are Hefeweißbier, yeast wheat, which is the traditional unfiltered form and Kristallweiss beer, crystal white beer, which removes the yeast and wheat proteins. It's served in unique glasses that make it easy to recognize. Was ist eine Maß? What is a Maß? Maß literally means measure and originally a Maß was little more than one liter unless you were in Baden where it was 1.5 liters. The modern Maas Krug or mug has a fill line that denotes the proper amount of liquid and features some extra space for the foamy head to expand. There's even an association against the fraudulent pouring of beer that fights for the rights of beer drinkers and ensures that they will get the full liter. For those not quite up to drinking a full mass, there's the seidel, another old measurement for liquids. A seidel is exactly half a liter of beer and the mug used to serve it is still known as a beer seidel. And if you prefer your beer mixed with lemon flavored carbonated soda, it's called a radler or a cyclist's liter, which goes back to innkeeper Franz Kugler in the small town of Deisenhofen just outside of Munich. One sunny June day in 1922, Kugler was surprised by 13,000 cyclists arriving at his inn. As he was running out of beer for the thirsty throats, he began to stretch the beer with lemon soda. And the rest is history. Prost! Mm. Mm. Good. Ganz gut.